Good morning, everyone. We have a whiz bang game for you today. Somewhat unsurprisingly these days because the whiz just keeps on winning. Yes. Uh, isn't it most wonderful? It's absolutely wonderful. That wasn't funny last time. But let's see what we can get this time. So last time we had the even pally, and this time it seems death to be... Death Rattle Rogue. A Death Rattle Rogue. Versus another rogue. I see you. Necrium Blade is, I think, a good keep. So let's play the Beetle. Yeah, I don't think we need Minstrel right now. Do we keep Myra? Uh, you can keep Myra. Myra's fun. Yeah, Myra might be might be pretty cool. Especially with Necrium Blade on 3, that would be... It's kind of possible to trigger that. So I'll see what he's playing now. I'm curious. He's got, uh, he's got my Yav. Which means he's also not an absolute noob either. Are we coining the blue? No. No, 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 no. Never. Actually, Spellstone. When do you ever see a rogue Spellstone? Well, I mean, it definitely makes sense because that's what it's built mm -hmm. around. The, one of the big problems with rogue is the fact that it's death rattle, uh, specifically death rattle rogue, is that de they, they've always added some death rattle cards, but nev never really mm -hmm. enough yeah. in, in like the same standard cycle. So there's still a lot of death rattle cards in wild, but not necessarily in standard. Correct. With the Boomstead Project, I think it's the first time that they've had a lot of Death Riddle cards in one expansion. So it's like a Burgle type thing, maybe, from him? Yeah, um, I mean, there's only two decks that I can think of that would run Blink Fox, and one of them is odd. So we, I think we just weapon down the Fox and go face. And then keep the weapon charged for potentially Myra. Seems, seems to play. We can coin out Myra. Yes. If we want to. We do also have enough small stuff to, uh... Uh-huh. Oh, we already had the weapon. Is it King's Bane? No, no, it's, uh... It's, uh, it's the Stealing Rogue. Uh, he wants the Lifesteal weapon. The oh, Spectral right, right, Cutlass. Right. Yeah. But he already had it, so he no, played right, the, right. uh... Correct. The Shiny Finder and just didn't get anything. Correct. Do we just... Do we coin out Myra? Trade and then hit the thing in the f like coin out Myra and uh, see if we can get something really high value. Yeah, and then kill Myra with. <sighs> and it of those are great. <laughs> what the hell is that? There was actually a fun interaction with Sherazin where Myra specifically then, when it goes dormant and revives, becomes Sherazin, not Myra. I mean, that's plus one, plus one. Uh, do we go Skelomancer now? I kind of want to say go Skelomancer, but that does mean uh, that we can't proc with an Egg No, blade. we can't. Do we do Sherazin? But the Skelomancer is just good because then he doesn't kill our 40. <sighs> okay. It's, it's, uh, it's horrible. Then, yeah, then go face with that. Cool. Damn! Like, anything good. Mechanical whelp, anything. Like, Wild Worm. Great stuff, but... Yeah, that's always a problem. Uh, <sighs> the worst thing that can happen is just negative death rattles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, deal damage to your hero or something mm -hmm. like that. Or heal your opponent, like the... Uh, the Corrupted Corrupt Drill board, board. Which I believe is an old gods card, but... Yeah, that's not you know. But for Christ's sake, man, that could have been... A like, one good thing? <sighs> one good thing. No? No. Great. Fantastic. So I assume we play another Skelomancer? Buffs the Wicked Knife. Buffs the Wicked Knife. When he has Cutlass on hand. He has another Deadly Poison, probably. Yeah, but the idea is to get as many as possible, yeah. right? Um, is it another Skelomancer? Sure. Why go face? All we can do. All we got left to do. I mean, that means we can prick him for 6 every turn unless he wants to summon an 8-8. Eight, eight. Yeah. Or he wants to, like, vanish, but then we get a, a second shot at Myra. At yeah. least. And we do still get to replay the Skelomancer. It's on huge yeah. value, but the things with those types of death rolls always have a good huge sticking power. Please play, just play another one. Just, yeah. just do it. Just do it. I don't mind having 16 attack on the board. Mm -hmm. You see, he always has to push everything into face. Yeah. But we can still, well, at this point, we're pushing the same amount as he Necrium Blade triggers random minions death rattle. Yes. How is the Spellstone looking? The How many do we got? The Spellstone destroys two. We could pull that right now. We put could, a, or we could just pull put a bunch of stuff on the board. I mean... We could do that, too. We could put... So, Beetle, Ruru, 
Firefly, yeah. Fire, uh, Flame Elemental. Or you could also go hit um, the Cavern Shiny Finder. Yeah, smack it, smack. If you want, you can now pull out the the weapon to the face and hope it hits. No, wait, it doesn't even matter if it hits. It should only hit to play the beetle. Only beetle, it, yeah. beetle is the only good one. The other mm -hmm. ones don't do anything right now. And the extra value of not having to play a flame element of having it kept on hand isn't really worth it either. Now, of course, what's completely locked up is his weapon removal. He can now not play a Harrison Jones. Just can't play it. All right, vanish. That means we get a shot at Myra at potentially something. Yes, I mean that was a good vanish for him. Ah, the but... the cobalt. Let's go, Myra. Please, something better. I mean, fast root, yeah, fast root for sure. And then we can hit face with the weapon too. First, before you play. Yes, and then we can play more. Yeah. Uh, one ones, I suppose, yeah. because Beetle isn't really pressing right now, mm -hmm. and. In because the, case, the the sample the fast root guy still they still summon uh, oh one yeah they summon one ones yeah that's actually the splinter graph thing or not splinter graph but the splitting is it splitting fast root I don't know what it's you know it, it's uh, splitting fast root. yeah exactly because splinter graph is the one that gives yeah. you the uh, ten, ten, ten ten copy for ten because that summons two twos and they summon one one so that's actually pretty good value yes for one time. Gotta keep it going. Brewmaster. Yeah, on an empty board on also, his side. Yeah. So also notice it. how, uh, like, Rogue, uh, how uh, Cutlass or Test won't activate Phenomen. because he's getting Rogue cards from us. Oh, yeah. Right. So that is a... Pr that's a but dub. he would still get the... Um, that's a dub, right? Probably... Yeah, sure. Yeah, with the weapon for the weapon, or you could also, if you want to be fancy, go uh, shiny finder or don't. I don't care. You could have gone spellstone and then hero power to assert extra dominance. But that's it again, man. Whizbang is unbeatable. What you gonna do about him? I mean, this this matchup completely locks down the rogue, right? Actually, it's not even that bad. I've played a test rogue for a while. And Rogue was actually still one of the better matchups. But if you like, if you look into Cutlass as well, survive on that stuff. Well, um, Tough. the Cutlass, of course, you generally just ex don't expect to get more than two hits yeah. out of it. But with uh, the Lich King and Orisera, it still is possible to get extra yeah. hits out there. Still though, I mean that that was good though. And uh, second try, Myra actually stepped up to the challenge. And went above and beyond the Call of Duty. That's what you want to see. So, Whizbang Whiz Bang still unbeaten. And uh, we'll continue next week. Another video. Until we get beat with Whizbang, there's a video every single week. Thank you for joining us for this one. Leave a like if you happen to enjoy it. We appreciate that highly. Go and subscribe to Trash Can TV if you would like to do so. We'd appreciate that as well. And we're going to see you in the next video. Did they? That's it. That's it.